Hello again folks, this is part two of me filming my 500 logo golf balls in detail. So, completely random, I've just picked them out of my bag. This is completely random selection. Let's go. So, oh god. This is not a good start, not a particularly good, good quality one. What does that say? Crikey, that's not easy to read, is it? Yeah, well, whatever that is, it's... Uh, Pretty scuffed up, I'm afraid, on the title list. DT distance. If anybody can tell me what that says, please do. Uh, yeah, don't know what that is. And I'm not sure when I've had this one from. I don't think this is from 86 to 89, which is where the year most of mine are from. So this could be up to about the year 2000, maybe I found this one. Anyway, first one was rubbish, sorry about that. Second one. Bina Golf. Don't know anything about that company. Bina Golf. Hmm. Okay, don't know about that. Dunlop 65i. Um, so this presumably is from 1986 to 1989. Next. Blue Circle Industries. I think they make cement, isn't it? I think it's cement. This is their main business. Again, sorry, this is slightly scuffed up I, I, the balls that i have arranged from perfect condition to used and as you can see this is a maxfly ddh 500 um again i believe this is between 1986 and 1989 ish when i acquired it next um this is a pretty good condition one timberlake what does that say cabinet company Timberlake, and it looks like it's got an, is that an R for registered copyright sort of thing. I'm trying to zoom in without it going too far now. That's too much zoom then. That's probably an R. Oh, oh, as in registered trademark. Right. So Timberlake Cabinet Company. Don't remember this one. So um, that's an Ultra Tour Titanium. Straight distance. Wilson Straight Distance. So, so again, this is probably about year 2001. This doesn't. Seem to me like one of my 1986 to 89 ones, which is what most of them are. Um, next, what does that say? Real golf de ben Bendinat. Don't remember this one. Looks to be a golf club because there's two golf clubs crossed there. Where's that? Where is that golf club? And that's on a golden ram laser 392. Um, another one i don't remember so i don't know you'll have to if you really want to know work out the age of this particular type of ball golden ram laser 392 it could be 86 to 89 i just can't remember it but it could be after that next this is quite a logo license what's that saying vic victu victuler's school Presidential year 1991 to 1992. Well, haha, there you go. That helps to date the ball, probably. Um, it looks like IDV there, and then a, like a goose or a swan in the logo. License, Victual. What, what is Victualis? I, I have no idea what that means. 1991 to 1992. Hmm, well, that's on an Ultra Wilson 432. Like I said, the vast majority of the balls I, I collected were between 1989 uh, sorry 1986 and about 1989 possibly 1990 1991 um so yeah the fact that this says 1990 so it has to be at least 1992 that i acquired it so there you go next phillips finance services and i don't know if this is the Philips that makes all the electrical, the Dutch company that makes electrical stuff. Um, they used to have, a, used to be a Philips building in Cambridge. And I think before that used to be Pi. Do you remember PYE Pi that made radios? Then it became a company called Simoco, which I've worked with. Um, so I don't know if that is that, if the same Philips. Anyway, that's on a tour edition by Spalding. And I know I used to get these balls in about. 86 to 1990 or so so presumably that's when this one dates to next 
with the compliments of Ian Bambra. Oh, again, that, I think I did one of these in, in the first video I made. So again, um, he runs a golf shop in Cambridge um, at one of the golf clubs. So that's who that is. And that's on the PTS YM90. So again, not sure of the date. Could be somewhere around 1990, 1991 maybe. Uh, next, on a Maxfly DDH ball. Oh, that's, ooh, I like this one. Maxfly DDH and then Tour 100 on the side. And it's got this Greyhound logo. And I believe Greyhound is, um, you know, Greyhound buses in America. I certainly saw them when I was traveling across America. So yeah, I believe that's that's what it is. That's the Greyhound bus company that takes people all over America. I think that's what it is. You'd have to double check, but that's what I think that is. So again, uh, probably had this since about anywhere between 1985 and 1990 or so. Next, what have we got here? I don't know which right way around this goes. Uh, uh, something steel C A Y then one of the letters is a bit scrubbed off and then E K something or other steel and then is that bow bow water at the bottom? I think the O is scrubbed off bow water and yeah there's an anchor so bow water is probably right. Is that a Z that's been scrubbed off? I can't, I don't know, to be honest. Something like that. K Steel Bow Water. Don't know anything about that company. You'll have to work that one out. Titleist 384 PTS 90. Again, that I presume is from somewhere around 1986 to 1990, Next. Golf Innovations. Don't know anything about that company. That's on a top flight XL by Spalding. Uh, again, same year range, I presume, as in 86 to 1990, 1991, something like that. Oh, bit of a, a bit of a cut on that one. That's unfortunate. Is that an X out ball? Yes, it is. X out means it's, um, I presume it means something was wrong when they manufactured it, like it was slightly wrong weight or something like that. So it's a Titleist. 384DT90, but it's an X out ball, and the logo is Leslie Paper. Okay, so presumably a company that manufactures paper. <laughs> there you go, and again, I presume same age range, 86 to 1990 or so. Next, Robert Arnold and Partners. Robert Arnold and Partners. Uh, not sure what they do, you'd have to Google that. Sounds sounds like solicitors or something like that, doesn't it? Accountants, I don't know. And that's on a pinnacle. It's just pinnacle, nothing else. And that's in good condition, but again, roughly 1986 to 1990 is when I'll have had that from. Next is Ancaster Senior Achievement Centre. Don't know anything about that company. And that's on a Pro Staff Platinum Pure Distance. Good condition ball. This looks to be one that I've had after 1990. So possibly up to about the year 2000s when I got this. Pro Staff Platinum. Again, you can double check age of that ball. Off my memory, being as honest as I can, yeah, I, I presume this is something from about the year 2000. Next. FCG, so something golf club. Is that supposed to be a Fox? Maybe Fox Golf Club? What's that face there? Something like that. Looks brown and then kind of a purple nose or something. F, let's see if I can zoom in a little bit more without it going out of focus. Ooh, no, it goes out of focus. There you go. Yeah, some kind of panther, isn't it? it looks more like a panther. A quite an evil looking panther, actually. F. GC, something golf club, on an Ultra Wilson 432. So again, I believe this dates to somewhere around before 1990, Roughly. Next, January's. I believe this is an estate agent. Um, 
what you call them in America, realtors, you know, they sell property. I don't know if it was housing or business properties. I used to see signs up. But um, January, yeah, I believe that's what it is anyway. That's on the title list. 384 PTS 100. Slightly scuffed up ball, a bit of yellow on it. I don't know if that's sand or what. But anyway, and that again, I've, but to me, off the top of my head, I'd say I've had that since 86 to 88, somewhere around there. And by all means, if, if any of you do ever Google any of this, if, if for some reason you Google one of the logos or one of the balls and, and I'm wrong, let me know. And I'll happily write a comment uh, under the video to explain to people the information of what's this. So this looks like the Gog Magog Golf Club. Yeah, this is in Cambridge, the main golf club in Cambridge. Pretty scuffed logo, to be honest. Um, it's a shame. And I used to be a member of this golf club, played there quite a few times. I played at a, a fair few golf clubs, but that was one I actually joined. And uh, that's on an XL top flight by Spalding. Again, presumably we've had this since somewhere between 86 and 89. Next. Um, what does this say? Where's this start? What does that say? S F S F E C. Oh, there's probably something to do with the callus. Callus. Oh God. X. Yeah, Express. S F E O. Is that San Francisco? Alist Express. You'll have to work that one out, folks. I don't know. I don't know if I've said that right. I don't know if I've got those letters right because you can see it's a bit scuffed off. But closest I can see is S. Oh, maybe that's a P. I don't know. S, F or S, P. And then the next letter looks to be pro probably an E. But again, maybe that was an F. <laughs> oh, dear. It's not easy to work those things out. But if anybody recognises that, please let me know what that is. Um, that's on a title list. PTS Performance. I don't remember this one, so this could, it's either 86 to 89 or I'm more likely towards the year 2000, I reckon, for that one. Because I don't remember that one. Next, the Daily Telegraph Match Play Championship. Now, the Daily Telegraph is a big uh, national newspaper in Britain that has a readership of well over a million people. Well, it used to be, anyway. Um, they seem to favour rich people and conservatives. But the, the, the news reporting is pretty good. Compared to a lot of the papers in New, in England, the Daily Telegraph is what you'd call a quality broadsheet. Um, and as you can see, they sponsored some match play championship. And that's on the Wilson Staff True Velocity. Uh, to me, I'd say that's one of the ones that's closer to the year 2000 that I've had it from. Okay, it's a good condition ball, other than somebody put a bit of pen on it to mark it. Next... Lloyds Bank. Lloyds Bank, that's one of the main banks in uh, Britain. And that's on our Ultra Wilson 432. So again, oh, the logo's on both, so top and bottom. And I can see this ball is slightly burnt. I did find a place once to find golf balls where there'd been a, a, a fire. And yeah, basically hundreds of golf balls got burned there was just a few that i could salvage and uh this is one i kept because it's not that badly damaged but it, it's definitely slightly melted um anyway lloyd's bank again that probably dates to around 89 1990 i would say next is what does that say essex roofing co limited essex roofing co limited okay and that's on an ultra distance Again, I think this is probably closer to the year 2000. Off the top of my head, you can work that out if you really want to by the type of ball it's on ultra distance. Next is... Burridge and Mathis Limited Electrical Engineers on an ultra Wilson 432. So presumably that takes to around 1990, 1991 maybe, something like that. Don't know anything about that company right next rmc ready mix concrete so 
uh, exactly what it says, really mixed concrete. You see the lorries going around with the, whatever you call that thing that turns around while they're mixing the concrete as they drive along. And then the chute that the concrete pours out of. So really mixed concrete, that's a, I believe a British brand. And that's on an Ultra Wilson 432. So again, that probably dates to 89 to 90, 1991, something or somewhere around that. Next, Santa Claus. I remember getting this one. So this is definitely 1986 to 1989 when I got this. Probably, if I was to guess, about 1988. I've had it since. Picture of Santa Claus. Don't know who would have done that, but that's on an XL Top Flight by Spalding. Pretty decent condition ball. That's a nice one to have, Santa Claus. Yep, like that. Next, what have we got? I remember this one. Let's get this in focus. Great Lakes, Dredge and Dock, and then what the L Company, and that's a River and Harbour Improvements. Great Lakes. Well, the Great Lakes are in America, so has this come all the way from America? And this is on a 384 Pinnacle X out, so as I said before, X out balls are when they, I, th I believe it's when they made the, like, the weight slightly wrong. So when, when you quite often you see on the side of balls it says 90 or 100 compression. 90 compression uh is that 90 like 90 pounds per square inch or i'm not sure about that but i presume it means something like that 90 compression um again this probably dates to somewhere around 1988 1989 okay next uh hay and croft home builders with a goose as the logo that's a nice one that's a nice logo and that's on a Titleist 384 PTS90. So again, I would say this is from anywhere between 87 and 1990 or so. That's a nice logo. And the ball's in decent condition on that one. That's nice. Uh, just to warn you, the, the videos that I'm doing, I've worked out, it's going to take me roughly 30 minutes to film 50 balls. Um, so to film my 500 golf ball collection of, with logos on, it's going to take me about 10 videos so that's how that's how they're going to be uploaded in, into 10 separate videos hopefully so here we go let's carry on epson epson is a japanese company that makes uh printers that you attach to computers and stuff like that printers and scanners you can scan in um old 35 millimeter photographic uh, slides onto your computer these days if you want to digitize everything so epson on a dunlop 65i nothing else on the ball so that would date to 86 to about 1990. Oh, yep, I remember that one. Next is, what's that say? Royal West Norwich, oh, sorry. Royal West Norfolk Golf Club, 1892. When did golf start? What was the first golf club in Britain anyway? 1892, that's a long time ago. Um, Norfolk is a really nice place in, in England, one of the counties I've, I go to a lot, so I really do like Norfolk, lots of nice places there. That's on a medalist, a Kushnet ball, and as I've said before, I don't get many medalist balls at all, maybe one in a thousand in, uh, anyway, in East Anglia where I live, they're, they're not a particularly common ball people use, so, but anyway, uh, pff, when this dates to, I don't. I, again, I don't think this is one of the ones from 86 to 1990. So this could be anywhere up to about the year 2000 that I acquired it. Uh, next. Oh, this is an old one I've had. Christmas greetings. That's a nice. That's another nice one to have. Again, some of these balls, they've been in, you know, boxes. So they've got a few little bits of dirt that does rub off. Uh, and you can all you can always clean them up. Some of them have got a little bit of sand and stuff. I did clean them when I first got them, but um, you could always do a better job if you wanted. All right, Christmas greetings, and then it looks is that supposed to be Mary and Jesus? I suppose Christmas greetings. That's a nice one. And that's on a three nine two Hogan. Okay, so that definitely is one of the ones that dates to about eighty six to eighty nine. I would say. And again, you don't get many Hogan golf balls. That wasn't a particularly big brand, popular brand, I should say. Right, next. 
ITT. Uh, don't really know anything about that. It sounds like telecoms, maybe. ITT on a DT Titleist, durable Titleist 90. So we now know that 90 means compression, don't we? So uh, this looks like a fairly old ball. So one of the ones I've had from 86 to 89, I would say. Next, NatWest Bank. That's another one of the big banks in Britain. You don't really hear much about them anymore. They used to be, their adverts on TV always used to say they're good for businesses. You know, if you want to start a business, go to NatWest Bank and get a loan, etc. But um, I haven't seen them advertise for a long time. So I don't know, don't know what's going on with him. That's on an Ultra Wilson 432. So again, this ball dates to 86 to about 1990, 1991 maybe. Next, um, which way around is that? I think that's supposed to be a W. It's not an M, is it? I don't know. I think, I think it's supposed to be a W. Blue W, what does that mean? Ah, ah, thank God. Malenko Limited. No idea what that company does. Malenko Limited. No, no idea. That's on a title list 384 PTS 90. So again, that dates to around 80, 88 to 1990 ish, I would say. Slightly scuffed up ball. Next, Leyland Daff. Well, Leyland. British Leyland, they used to make cars in there, and DAF is the truck division. Uh, lorries, what do you call them in America? You don't call them lorry trucks. So trucks, there used to be a truck make in Britain, I believe. Yeah, you can see some of that dirt is coming off, that you need to be of a clean. Good quality ball, good condition. Leyland, DAF, I don't really hear anything about that company anymore. I don't even know if they still exist or anything. So Dunlop 65i, uh, good condition ball. That is a nice one. Next, it's a nice logo. I think that's supposed to say La Manga Club, is it? But the A of the L A is a bit missing. I think it's La Manga. La Manga Club, like a palm tree logo. Green, that's nice. That's on a title list, uh, PTS Wound 90. I think this is one of the ones that's from about 1990, 1991. Could be later than that, maybe. Uh, next. Skanska. Skanska in Eklimat AB. What on earth does that mean? Um, it sounds Swedish or something like that. You'd have to look that up. I don't know what, what that company does. That's on a title list, NXT Tour, so up to about the year 2000, this is one is, I think, because I can't really remember it from earlier than that. Am I getting a dead leg? Oh my God. I hope you realise the pain I'm going through to film these for you. Right, next, Renault. I think everybody knows what Renault is. Cars and trucks and vans, and of course Renault were very good in Formula One for a long time with Nigel Mansell. People like that winning the championship. Damon Hill won in a Williams Renault. Um, Jacques Villeneuve won in it. So Renault make very good engines. That's on a Dunlop 65i. Uh, very good condition ball, that one. And again, I think I've had this since somewhere around 88 to 1990-ish. That's a nice one to have. Renault. I've never owned a Renault. Um... I tend to steer well clear of French cars, to be honest. But anyway, next. Sanyo Open 1986. El Prat Barcelona. Now, okay. That's that's a good date. So let's just check the ball. Title is 384 PTS 100. So that's a 100 compression ball. Um, so there you go. <laughs> that definitely proves that I've had it since. I, was, I would have said, if the, if the 986 wasn't on that, I would have said that was a ball from... 86 to about 1990 when I had it. So there you go. Presumably this dates to 1986 then. Sanyo Open. So Sanyo is a Japanese electronics company that makes, well, didn't they used to make stereos and radios and stuff like that. So good condition ball that. That is a good one. Very nice. Next, what we got? What we got? Let's go for this one. 
Uh, Orlando World Center. Oh, and there's something else just below that. What does that say? Marriott's. Yeah, just below, just there in tiny writing. Try and zoom in a bit more. There you go. Marriott's Orlando World Center. Well, Orlando is in Florida, isn't it? And Marriott's is a hotel chain, I believe. Marriott's, and it's a nice logo on a pinnacle gold. Uh, and that's it, just pinnacle gold. So that's a good condition one. Again, I've probably had this since before 1990, I believe. Very nice nick, that one. I do like that. Oh, now next, what is that? What is that? It's slightly scuffed up, I'm afraid. Now, what is that? M, is that? Well, oh, that's hard to see. MF is possibly that logo there. This line's, unfortunately, it's a bit scratched. And then that's M, oh God. What does that say, folks? Is that supposed to say M I D B A? Is that probably an M and then limited, probably? Ugh, that's a bit difficult. Anyway, that's on an ultra distance 500. Wilson 90. Aha! Aha! That helps. F E H R E R group. Fur, fur a group. No idea what they do. Okay, so um, you have to Google that if you want to know what that company does. Fur a group on an ultra distant fiber. So I'm, I'm sure this is not one of the ones from 86 to 99. So again, this could be till I've had this since about year 2000, possibly. Um, next. This is a good one, very good one. Timberland Country Club. Now it's not Timberland, the, the company that makes um, really nice boots. I used to have a really nice pair of Timberland boots. It's not that, it's Timberland Country Club and that's obviously a, a wolf. So presumably this is in America, Timberland Country Club. Uh, what's it on? It's on a Golden Ram Laser 392. I believe this is one I've had since before about 1999-91. So presumably this dates to anywhere from 87 to 1990-ish, I would say. That's a nice one. Right, next is Wesley and Huff. Grey logo, Wesley and Huff, does it say anything else? Yeah. Chartered Surveyors. And the majority of the bulls I've got, I acquired in Cambridgeshire. Um, so I don't know if that's a Cambridgeshire company. I should say, I should have said that at the start, really. So that's on a Titleist 384 PTS90. So again, I believe this is one of the ones I've had since somewhere between 86 and about 1990. Next, ARC. No idea what that company does. ARC on a yellow ball. That's a 384 Pinnacle. And that's it. That's what it says about the ball. 384 Pinnacle. So again... 86 to 1990-ish, I think, is when I've had that from. Next. Oh, it's an X-Out Pinnacle Ball. Uh, 90 compression. And the logo is Tory Pies. Now, I've seen... There's, this seems to be quite a common logo because I've seen um, some other golf ball collectors with this same logo on balls. So this seems to be printed on a lot of balls. It's not a rare logo if i've been completely honest this one isn't anyway and it's on an x out ball which doesn't exactly increase the value but um well maybe it does maybe it makes it even rarer maybe there aren't that many three eight four pinnacle x outs with that logo but um being perfectly honest there you go really good condition ball that one uh again i've probably had that since somewhere around 1990 ish maybe a bit earlier st regis no idea what that company does st regis or anything else and that's on the title list 384 PTS 90 so pretty decent condition ball for its age so again this is one I've had since about 86 to 89 I would say next if I can get it in focus Park Lane and PLS Park Lane Services I think that is and I believe Park Lane is a posh isn't it a posh street in London somewhere where very wealthy people live I think that's what that is Top Flight 2, ah, here we go on the bottom, the Park Lane Group, 
is part of the logo, the Park Lane Group. And that's on a Spalding Top Flight 2. Slightly faded in colour. I'm sure you can see, look, yellow like that. Lighter colour. So that's been left in the sun for a long time, I believe. Um, so someone lost it and it was stayed lost for quite some time. So again, I've had this since some time before. About 1990, I would say. 86 to 89 is probably when I've had this. Next is... Oh, there's a phone number here. Don't ring it, please, folks. 01527-3561. What's that? Aha. Uh -huh. RC Tompkins Property Group. RC Tompkins Property Group. Okay. Don't know anything about them. Title list, 384 PTS90. So, again, that dates to... 86 to about 1990 I've had that ball's pretty decent condition and the logo's in good condition All right next uh, Cambridge Golf Society well there you go I said I'd get both of the balls from the Cambridgeshire area Cambridge Golf Society and that's on a Titleist PTS wound so I believe this is closer to the year 2000 I've probably had this one you'll have to date that type of ball just two more to go in this particular video, folks. Uh, next one, Wilmot Dixon. I'm not sure what they do, but I've seen that in Cambridge somewhere, I think, as, as in the business somewhere. Wilmot Dixon on a title list. 384 PTS90. So again, presumably I've had this since somewhere between 86 and about 89, 1990. Don't know what that company does. Ball's a little bit scuffed up, I'm afraid. And the, oh no, there's two more to go. Uh, next one is what's that supposed to say? HBS, I think, in red. And that's on a title list 384 PTS90. So again, that type of ball should put it around the before 1991, I believe. And the last one of the 50 I'm going to show you is this orangey logo here. I don't know what that is. Not sure which way around that's supposed to be, but it's it's nine orange flags. Uh, is there anything else on the ball? No, there isn't. So it's on a Dunlop sixty five I number one. So that again, that probably dates to somewhere between eighty six and nineteen ninety that I've had that. So there you go. That's that's the second lot of fifty balls uh, I've shown you. Um, I'll keep on up making these videos and uploading them. Like I said, it's 50 videos takes just over 30 minutes to film. Um, I've got about 500 logos that I own, so it's going to take me 10 videos to show you them all. So please look through my YouTube account, click on playlists, look on my golf playlist to find my videos, and I'll, I, I might make a separate playlist just for my particular golf logo balls. But um hope this is useful to you as, as i've said before i might sell the collection it would have to be a decent price to make it worth it to me because i've got sentimental value attached to these um but you never know for the right price maybe i'd sell them but this is just to show off what i've got and get some comments etc so anyway for now thanks for watching look out for part three to part 10 coming very soon thanks for watching folks bye bye